Will Lockwood's journey to the University of Michigan was a family affair. And we asked him about a story and how that story inspired him on his journey as we bring to you a player profile presented by Penske. All right, I'm gonna tell you a story. You tell me if you've heard the story before, okay? Okay. All right, 1985, it's the Ost Arena. Spartak Moscow is in the building. So they're playing U of M. U of M lost the previous game against Ferris State, I think nine nothing or something. Bus breaks down on the way to Ann Arbor to play the next day. Probably Spartak should have won handily. It's late in the game, it's 4-4, and a puck ricochets out to center, and a freshman takes the puck up the ice and scores the game-winning goal with about 30 seconds left. Who was that guy? That's, that's my dad's claim to fame right there, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I've heard, I've heard that story quite a few times, and um, you know, it's, you know, it goes down in the history books at Michigan, and it's kind of like their little miracle. So um, it's, it's really cool. He's been a part of that, and um, you know, just going to Michigan and being there, I've heard that story a, a bunch of times, and um, you know, each time I hear it, I you know, enjoy it, and you know, it's, a, it's definitely a really cool thing to, to hear about. So your dad plays at U of M, his first, Red Berenson's first ever team. Um, you go on to play at U of M. I assume being a Wolverine was ingrained in you early on. Um, yeah, I, I actually, um, I wrote down, we had a teacher give us an assignment in the sixth grade. And it was, where do you want to be in, you know, however many years. And I had found that note the other day and I actually as a senior I gave my speech a senior speech and I had pulled that note out and it talked about how um, that I wanted to be a Michigan Wolverine was my number one goal it wasn't even to play in the NHL or anything like that. So I imagine the first time you put on a sweater and you stepped on the ice in Yost Arena uh, was it surreal what was I mean for you at that point even though you're a young man it was the culmination of everything you had worked for was being a, a member of that team how the heck am I even, you know, playing on this ice right now? Um, and, you know, it just was a culmination of a lot of different things of hard work and, and you know, something I wanted to do my entire life. And um, so, yeah, it was definitely one of those moments where, you know, it was like, you know, is this even real life? But uh, it, was, it was definitely a, a moment I'll never forget. Your dad wore number 10? Yeah. And you wear number 10 mm -hmm. as a tribute to your father? Yes. Okay, so what was the similarities? John Lockwood didn't make it to the National Hockey League. You're drafted by Vancouver. Compare your father's game to yourself, and what's the difference? Our physicality and our hard work line up very well. Um, you know, I'd like to say I have a little, you know, more skill with the puck, and he, I think he'll agree with that. I'm not really sure. I haven't seen him play, but right. um, I definitely, like, I, I've learned so much from him as far as just becoming a man and a hockey player. And um, I would say the, the biggest similarity is just the work ethic and you know, just treating people with respect and being a good person and things like that. I probably took from him the most. All right, so my last question to you is, how does Will Lockwood get to the NHL? How do you create the route for yourself to become a full-time player in the best league in the world? Um, you know, that's a, that's a good question. I like to, you know, think of my, you know, I'm not going to get there scoring a ton of goals and, you know, putting up a ton of points. Um, I'm going to get there, um, just, you know, doing everything I can, getting better each day, you know, learning to become a pro here and, and developing and, um, you know, soaking in anything, all, any information I can get from the coaches and that work ethic to get, get to that next level. Well, if you can make it, it's because, in part, you're a Bloomfield Hills kid, okay? That's, that's got to lay the foundation. I think, yeah, and, I think and help that's out. where it starts, right?